bet I can bang the dents from my armor while we're in town. Squire, the Exarchs are in full retreat. Look how they claw like chicks and empty their bowels. The time has come for a counterattack. Prepare for your greatest challenge, crow friend, the motionless guardian. Yes, yes, the flightless cultist summoned it to guard their treasures. The guardian stands like a mountain of brass and fury. We cannot approach it. But as a featherless giant, you might be immune to its gaze. Behold, Black Feathers! Our giant prepares to destroy the Guardian! the court. Now let us take wing, Black Feathers, back to the Duke. Nice. 
did you find? I'll wait for you here. I've chased enough birds for one day. Victory! We picked the bones clean and plundered the Exarch's horde. A proud day for the Blackfeather court. Now, the Queen of Chaff sent an emissary requesting a parley. I have a plan to scare her off for good. I need your help. I know what I said, fledgling! You've not defeated the Exarchs yet. Even now, they clean their plumage and sharpen their beaks. Unless we break the will of their queen, they will always return. This will be your last task. I swear it! Swear! A trick! A bluff! A great crow scheme! Meet me in a building called Incarnatorium. I will explain all. We're done, right? 
Where's the key? I think I've been more than accommodating, but I am done taking orders from a talking bird. I'll remain here to guard the entrance, just in case more cultists or Daedra arrive. You just make this quick, all right? You'd better be. With the key and without an obnoxious flying escort, all right? We must stun her with my magnificence! Are you ready? Look around. I picked this place for a reason. Pulley and pushy contraptions abound. When the city's wingless servants fiddle with him, the gears turn and pipes creak! I need to convince the Queen of Chaff that these machines serve me and be alone! Yes! Exactly. The performance. My legs, while svelte and regal, are not strong enough to push and pull these levers. I need you and your meaty hands. When the Exarch's queen witnesses my powers, she will take wing and never return. Of course not! No more time to plan. The queen's entourage approaches. Hide yourself! Hide! Hide! We 
may have a complication. My, my. This would be much easier if you had feathers. I have, kind of. I hid the great prize nearby. But in your zeal to impress me, you threw the wrong switch. Now the door leading to the shiniest is blocked. Blocked! I can fly through, but you will need to take the long way round. North! I will dispatch my proud Knight of Marrow to accompany you. Good luck. Friend, the shiniest treasure awaits. Can I help? victory over the Exarchs came at great cost. Quill and Claw, our lost knight was a true hero. We will not forgive, and we will not forget. I do not know which lock the Shadow plans to poke with the key he stole, but we will help you stop him. Yes! You are as much a member of this court as any crow. Our swift wings and keen eyes are at your disposal. Find the shadow of Sotha's sea, claim the key he stole, and avenge my knight of marrow!
You look haggard. What happened in there? The skeleton key? Nocturnal's key? Damn it. I always suspected, but hoped it wasn't true. That key is a trans-dimensional artifact of unimaginable power. We have to get it back. The Omnivox alarm. Slag it. Someone's breaching the Cogitum Centralis. I have to get back to the Basilica. Meet me there. is truly merciful to let his traitorous brother live. Capable combatants need Do you think there's a sleep shop around here? Let's take a look. Part of sealed, don't you understand? The shadow put a hex on the lift. Perhaps if we had the key you managed to lose. Here we go again. I told you before, Lord Set would never allow the skeleton key to enter the city. There must be another explanation. Well, by all means, explain it to me. You arrived just in time. I don't know how much more of Devaith and Varuni's bickering I could take. It's as I feared. The Shadow breached the Cogitum Centralis, Lord Set's seat of power. If it reaches the core, if it removes Lord Set from the throne aligned, we can't let that happen. You should steel yourself for the battles ahead. We arrived too late. As soon as the Shadow of Sotha Seal claimed the Skeleton Key, it slithered into the Fundament and sealed all the doors leading to the Cogitum Centralis. Fear and Varuni tried to break the seal. You can see how that turned out. None. Lord Set designed the Cogitum to be virtually impenetrable. Even so, these whispering shadow cultists move through the city unhindered. I don't know how. Perhaps if we discover how they navigate the city, we can use that against them. Hmm. I crossed staves with an Argonian mage once. He could leap through shadows, crossing long distances in seconds. Maybe that's the answer? Shadow portals of some kind? We need more information. Inside perspective. We have that bastard Gascon jailed in the East Wing. He spent most of his time sulking, but he might speak to you. You did spare his life, after all. Ask him about this shadowy pool you described. If there are others like it, we need to know. You again. I suppose I should thank you for sparing me for all the good it will do. That lumbering pile of scrap Luciana means to lock me in deep storage, I know it! Just leave me to my hand wringing, alright? 
Information? I've been locked in this bleak little room since we parted ways. What could I possibly know? I heard the Omnivox squawking earlier. Is that what this is about? It is. Oh my. The cultists locked you out of the Cogitum, didn't they? Hmm. I could help you, but I'd need something in return. One of Clavicus Vile's Scothan enforcers stalks the mechanical fundament, carrying a peculiar contract. Kill this Daedra, bring me the contract, and I'll tell you everything I know. True, I suppose. Despite what you might think, I love this city. I can't be a party to its destruction. Seek out gloaming gates, impossibly deep pools of shadow. The cultists use them to travel great distances. You can too. I know of two. One east, one west. Look for the hidden caves where the shadows gather in force. Once you find a gate, you need only let yourself sink into it. I can't promise you'll like where you end up. The gates weave in and out of Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. You can use them to reach your ultimate destination, just as the cultists do. But you must first traverse the Evergloam to find other connected gates. Set bless your labors. I mean that. Hate me if you must, but I truly hope you can stop this madness. Tell me you have something. Gates, of course. My apostles ran down a few rumors about cultists building strange basins on the periphery of the radius, but we never found any of them. How do these gates work? So we'll use the cultists' own pathways against them. Makes sense. Can't say I have any desire to fight my way through a plane of oblivion, but we don't have much of a choice, do we? Did Gascon say where they built these gates? And we have no way to know which will get us to our destination faster. Let's split up. I'll take the western gate, you take the east. Try to navigate the Everglow. I'll do the same. Hopefully one of us will make it to the Cogatum in time. even hold a discussion? Set didn't teach us to discard knowledge whenever it proves inconvenient. Even Sotha Seer abandoned those experiments for good reason. He never forbade them. We did. That was a mistake. Another find for your pack.
good quality there. This is not the end of our tale. Let me, uh, catch my breath. The Duke of Crows sent us far and wide looking for you. My wings ache from the efforts. Ache! You wish to use the gloaming gates, yes? Well, only crows and shrikes and silly cultists can use them. The mistress keeps them locked. Yes, you need a crow's cunning to use these things. Now, in you go. I will come with you to help you find our brave knight's murderer. You must kill the shadow of the clock god. Kill him, then we'll pick the bones clean. The metal woman. Ah, we help her too, but only because we know you'd be cross if we did not. We think she is stupid and ugly, but a friend of our crow friend is sort of a friend of the duke's. Sort of. Now, no more talking. Into the gate. Go! This is it. Everglow. Follow me.
I was of some assistance. Left, Nathalys! Always left! You could get more powerful. Yeah. <laughs> 
weapons, my friend. We've won. None left to stand against us. You look tired! Tired! Just a few more stairs to go! Nighthag, you'll get nothing from me. Just any gate. This must lead back to the city. Follow me. I recognize this place. These are the tunnels that lead to the Kogadam. Looks like the Factotums put up a fight when the shadow came through. Not enough, it seems. There, the Shadow's Ward. Liquid shadows? Some kind of nocturnal light. I've never seen the like. Wait, I remember. Lord Set taught me a spell long ago. He said it would guide me through the darkness one day. I couldn't find a use for it then, but now... Yes, he said that logic and wisdom would part the shadows of doubt. It worked! How could he have known? Never mind. Meet me at the entrance to the Kogadam. We have work to do. I don't often admit surprise, but I'll be candid. That was one of the weirdest journeys of my life. And I've lived a very, very long time. 
With the shadow barrier removed, we can move freely between the Brass Fortress and the Cogitum again. Now, we have a Daedric Prince to thwart and a god to save. I hope you're ready. Tighten that armor and sharpen your weapons. Entering the Cogitum Centralis can prove deadly on the best of days. This is far from the best of days. Beyond whatever Daedric whores the Shadow left in its wake? The Cogitum shifted into its strongbox configuration as soon as the alarm sounded. So now we have to contend with inaccessible platforms, hostile factotums, unleashed fabricants, you know I don't put much stock in hope. Sotha Seal prepares for every conceivable eventuality, but the Shadow is Sotha Seal. It's difficult to create countermeasures for yourself. We can't count on Sotha Seal. This task falls to us. as I suspected. The defense system locked down the bridge. Slag it! I can use this terminal to unlock it, but the alarm cut the power. Looks like it has two charging junctions. I need you to find two core pumps. Can you do that? One other thing. There's a master factotum down here called... Greetings. I am Iris. Please be advised. The sacred Cogitum Centralis is currently sealed. I kindly encourage you to exit the Cogitum immediately. Thank you for your compliance. Not going to happen, Ios. Beginning entity analysis. Error. Entity exists outside known posse points. Transitioning to general reception array. Hello. I am Ios. The Automata Incarnum Overseer System. Master Seal created me to maintain and supervise the substrata operations of Clockwork City. This partition can provide answers to Class 7 queries only. Thank you for your understanding. Assessing threats to Master Seal. Dreaming. Open window. Sunlight through glass. Threat analysis prepared. Prospect Numidium. Negative. Prospect Almalexia. Negative. Prospect Erasure. Negative. No existential threat detected. Accessing privatized threat array. Dreaming. Knee abrasion. Lullaby. Threat located. Nocturnal. Woodra. Unfathomable Mistress of Shadows. Prospect registered. Risk level moderate. Thank you for your concern. Motive evaluation complete. Non-hostile intent confirmed. Assistance threshold increased 20%. I can now provide advice and analysis. A manual override is required to proceed. Lower automata still adhere to trespass protocols. Use caution.
Stendar was with us in that fight. Celebratory sweets. Well done. Now all I need to do is there. I disabled the emergency protocol. It won't shut down the core's defenses, but we shouldn't find our path blocked like this again. Admonition. Many of Master Sill's defenses still conform to strong box protocols. Risk of severe laceration, incineration, and or disintegration remains high. Thanks for the advice. Please. spell I used on the lift overtaxed my nerve junctions. We need to find another way through. Try throwing that switch. You won't take them! Not on my watch! Corruption. A lamp, like the one you used to expose the shadow. Another switch. Try it. When Sothisil saved me, he said I would shine a light one day. Could this be? Questions for another time. Let's keep moving. Install those lamps here, too.
managed to banish my shadows again. Relish the victory while you can. It will take more than a lapse to keep me from the throne alive. Celebratory sweets. governs all Axel operations and gate controls. How can I assist you? Evaluating access petition. Dreaming. Raindrops on glass. Wood smoke. Access granted. Please make swift progress to the throne room. Daedric corruption detected. of some assistance. And you 
thicker. How predictable. upon Somerset shores. All that is shall be ours. Well done, my friend. Oh, enough theatrics, Luciana. On your feet. Luciana. We should return to the surface. This is no place for mortals. Prisoner, at last. You are early, or perhaps late. It makes little difference. I'm glad you've come. Tamriel owes you a debt. Restored, yes. I reclaimed my shadow, and with it, knowledge of what transpired and what's to come. But those calculations will keep. I owe you a boon. Service, like all equations, demands precise reciprocity. I wonder what would you ask of me? Power. Interesting. Power to what end, I wonder? You possess a great well of potential. Unexplored depths, hidden by self-doubt and narrow perspective. Feel no shame. I know something of self-doubt. I can reveal this potential, if you wish. Clever. At another time, in another place, I would gladly part with it. In truth, I have no interest in Daedric baubles. Unfortunately, the Shadow Queen still lurks on our threshold. I must send this key away, farther than your feet can carry you. Altruism. A rare trait. Luciana will die. If not here and now, then elsewhere and later. I can delay her death if you wish, but to what end? Power. Ask and you shall have it. Then you shall have it, along with the prize from my vault. This treasure is and always has been yours. Put these gifts to good use, or do not. Triumphs await regardless. We are, all of us, bound by our natures. Your nature demands victory. Strange. I spent lifetimes here in the world of tangible forms, but each time I emerge from the throne, it's like I'm seeing it for the first time. Broken. Impoverished. Beautiful. It seems I must delay my work for a time. When I reclaimed my shadow, I learned a great deal. Daedric plots, alliances, and betrayals. The return of things lost in time. 
the loss of things the world thought certain. I have much to do. In the short term, I need to evade fear. He took his leave to attend to matters outside my fortress. I wish to speak with both of you in a more private setting. Please find fear, and then meet me at the Elegiac replication. We will speak in time. First, find... Is he... Thank the gears. The people. My people. They're safe. He knew. He knew this would happen. He said I would shine a light one day. Uh, do you see? Everything built to this. Everything. Every battle. Every sorrow. It finally makes sense. Don't be. Death is less frightening than a wasted life. I cheated death once, and I'm proud of what I accomplished with my second chance. I don't need a third. Besides, I have people waiting for me in Aetherius. It's past time I saw them again. Farewell, my friend. When your time comes, I vow to meet you at the gates to Aetherius. You have... You have my word. I can't stand seeing her like this. I always thought Luciana was, I don't know, indestructible. How could this happen? And the strain was too much. Yes, I've heard. I just thought with you there, and Lord Set as well. I guess every spring comes unwound eventually, no matter how strong. Do you think she'll live? Well, I know you did all you could to save her. Thank you for that, at least. I'll remain here a while longer. I should stay at her side at least until the factotum shares.
Ah, my erstwhile companion. You look remarkably... coherent. Most mortals caught in a Daedric Tempest would suffer some lasting effects. I'm impressed. Baffled. Ah, my erstwhile companion. Already? I expected him to wait at least a week before summoning me. Seal's concept of time bears only a faint resemblance to our own. You should set out. I'll be along shortly. You didn't, though. Bully for you. In truth, I sought an alternate route to the throne, through the Everglow. Unfortunately, Nocturnal detected my presence immediately. One of the few burdens of near-divine power, and difficult to miss. Trapped? No. Impeded, perhaps? Fortunately, Nocturnal's attention turned to you and the good Proctor when you defeated the Shadow. It gave me the opportunity to pinpoint the object of her fury. You. I followed her to the throne. The rest is history. Taking it all in, I suppose. Surely you won't begrudge me a moment of vulnerability. This place... It is something. I sense that I won't return any time soon. If at all. When you've lived as long as I have, that actually starts to mean something. One can only marvel at a rival's triumphs for so long before that awe turns to resentment. And I have no time for petty jealousy. I have plans of my own, and countless realms to explore. I can't afford to linger anywhere for long. old friend. You seem troubled. More troubled than usual, I mean. Receptive, as always. I do not wish to diminish your achievement, but Nocturnal's defeat here will be short-lived. What's more, she does not act alone. A third enemy looms at the edge of my sight. Their covetous eyes are now fixed on the Somerset Isles. Then we should inform the rest of the Sijiks. We'll need to prepare. I will inform them personally. I have a separate task for you, Devaith. Take the skeleton key. Keep it hidden for as long as you can. I trust that this task pleases you. After all, your love of such trinkets is what brought you here in the first place. Sometimes I wonder if you see too much. I will keep it safe. Farewell, Devaith Fear. We will not meet again. I haven't visited this memorial for centuries, but even I need reminders every now and again. Do you like this place? It took me the better part of a decade to perfect it. Every stone and flower tells a story. Tales of how things were, how they ought to be. I thought about destroying it on more than one occasion, I'm glad I didn't. I know. Ask and I will answer truthfully. Just know that the truth often fails to satisfy. You expect something grand, but I promised you the truth. I am only what time and circumstance made me. Son of a lost house, friend to a fallen king. 
Some will tell you that we are the product of our choices. I've never found that to be the case. I am whatever the people need me to be. A guardian, an oppressor. For some, too distant. For others, too meddlesome. I am the canvas upon which they paint their dreams and resentments. A vessel for their hopes and doubts. A mirror, nothing more. I don't. But my companions, Vivek and Almalexia, see their divinity as essential. Godhood brings them joy and purpose. They find meaning in the theatrical. Who am I to deprive them of that? Almalexia defies simple analysis. I doubt she could even describe herself accurately. To understand Almalexia, you must first understand the value of fiction. Vivek fancies himself the poet, but in truth, A.M. is the greatest storyteller. Vivek knows the boundaries that separate fact from fiction. He knows them so well that he's learned how to break them. He exists inside his verse, but recognizes the lies, the contradictions. He both does and does not believe his own tales. She believes her tales implicitly, as does everyone else. Her capacity for deception appears limitless. She sows lies like a master gardener sows seeds, and the harvest of trust and adulation is breathtaking in scope. Not in the slightest. As I said, we are, all of us, bound by our nature. Our Alexia does what she does because she cannot do otherwise. It will not end well. But then, even the best endings rarely bring joy. Vivek is my brother. He knows my struggles, and I know his. That knowledge makes our relationship complicated. To truly know someone is as much a curse as it is a blessing. Regret. We are bound by that, at least. He also suffers a kind of enslavement. Not unlike my own, in fact. Beauty holds the keys to his shackles. Beauty and a love of great works, great heights. His appetites are insatiable, thus his despair. Yes, a poet's despair. Vivek craves radical freedom. The death of all limits and restrictions. He wishes to be all things at all times. Every race, Every gender, every hero, both divine and finite. But in the end, he can only be Vivek. Not even remotely. I sometimes ask myself the same thing. May I confess something to you? I suffer from a peculiar ailment. Shall I describe it? I bear the cruel weight of certainty. Total, absolute, relentless certainty. People rarely comprehend the luxury of doubt, the freedom that comes with indecision. I envy you. Indeed. But such questions are flaccid. Cursory indulgences that come and go in an instant. The truth is that my actions, both good and evil, are inevitable. Locked in time. Determined by chains of action and consequence. Compelled. This city serves a noble goal. The redemption of Tamriel. The unification of competing forces. The destruction of the Daedra. Unfortunately, it is an endeavor built upon a lattice of corpses. Betrayal, untold horrors. Do you understand? Then I pity you. 
I instructed Devaith to run from the battle that is to come. Now, I urge you to run toward it. Long ago, I brokered a truce with the princes of Oblivion. This pact bound eight princes to an oath that they would never again set foot on Tamriel. Nocturnal was not present when the princes signed the Cold Harbor Compact. Thus she flouts its restrictions. Now, this is important. Nocturnal does not act alone. Two other princes lie in wait. Tavik is vile and Mafala. Defeated? Forgive my candor, but Clavic is vile cannot be defeated through force of arms. Neither can Mafala. I have preparations to make outside my clockwork realm. You must stay vigilant. Take heed of any Daedric incursions and stand ready to fight. The prisoner wields great power, making reality a metaphor. We will need you before the end. I sometimes ask, I suffer from... Indeed. Compelled. Good. I pray you never do. I instructed the... Not... Def I have preparations to make... A fool's hope, perhaps. I should explain. Look around you. All of this exists because it must exist. I stand here, in this place, in this moment. Not because I wish to, but because I have to. A result of action and consequence. Clever, but incorrect. The prisoner must apprehend two critical insights. First, they must face the reality of their imprisonment. They must see the determinative walls, the chains of causality that bind them to their course. I have, but I fall short of the second insight. The prisoner must see the door to their cell. They must gaze through the bars and perceive that which exists beyond causality, beyond time. Only then can they escape. I see only unsteady walls. If the people of Tamriel must exist inside this cell, I will make sure that the walls are stable, the gaps are sealed, and all who remain stay safe within it. I've met few heroes like you. Very few. I take this matter of the Triad upon myself, but in truth, you may be the one that saves us. The prisoner who frees the world. We shall see. Farewell.
pawn shop, give a shout. I want to get a gift for Aurelia. This one can guarantee. A weapon.
My mounts are good. 